1985, Sub-Saharan Africa was crippled by drought and famine. But South Africa was crippled by apartheid. So musician and activist Stevie Van Zandt put together artists against apartheid. A supergroup that took aim at the regime and even had a list of demands. We the people demand the unconditional release of Nelson Mandela. Late in the 1980s, DJ Scott LaRock of Boogie Down Productions is shot and killed. And the hip hop community is dealing with the crisis with violence. Enter rapper KRS-One who launches the Stop the Violence movement with other hip hop heavy hitters and their song, Self-Destruction. Well, today's topic, self-destruction, it really ain't the rap audience that's bugging. It's one or two suckers, ignorant brothers, trying to rob and steal from one another. As the 80s gave way to the 90s, former US ally Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. War was on the horizon. A who's who of early 90s music rose up in song with a remake of John Lennon's Give Peace a Chance. Everybody's talking about civil war. Revolution. I'm a get no solution. I was facing Vietnam. We don't want to drop the bomb. Sadly, Flea, MC Hammer, and Lana Miles could not halt the Persian Gulf War. Ten years later, music's bright lights got together to benefit AIDS programs in the developing world with a cover of Marvin Gaye's What's going on? Then in the days following 9-11, the organizers directed some proceeds from the song to the American Red Cross, meaning the song did double duty. And finally, Do They Know It's Christmas inspired many charity singles, including this eerie, undead, monster-ridden spin-off, proceeds of which went to UNICEF. featured Book 65, Feist, members of Arcade Fire, comedian David Cross and others, some of whom may now harbor a burning desire to feast on the flesh of the living.